Hey everyone, what's going on? It's my last day here in Florida and uh, just having an incredible time out here. Uh, excited to go home though. Uh, I got my cute little cat waiting on me and uh, my life out there, so pretty pumped. Um, anyways, I'm ready to get today underway. Uh, I got some time here. I'm about to have a nice little lunch on the water with my dad uh, before I go back um, go back home. Um, so excited about that. Love has been spending the family time. You know, I really consider, you know, family and loved ones, you know, really big picture stuff. You know, really kind of, those are things that remind you, like, why why we're living our life, why we're doing these things. And um, just really warms my heart sometimes to, you know, be around some of these people. <laughs> Anyways. Um, but, you know, it's been such a great experience out here. And uh, like I said, um, it's definitely... A, um, a reminder of the big picture out there. And if I could retire in a village with me and the closest people to me, um, I would. And, uh, and, you know, so now, you know, the goal is to, you know, make that happen and make sure that we have enough of that in our lives um, to make sure that we are keeping a well-balanced life. Um, all right, so I'm gonna jump into this call session. I'm so excited to make it happen. Um, I got my mojo dialer pulled up in the background. I just have to call in here. If you're watching, say what's up. You know, if you're checking out the replay, uh, comment replay. Uh, really excited to see everyone who's, I know a lot of people have been getting a lot out of these. Uh, feel free to reach out. Um, I got a you know appointment with Hershey on Thursday. And um, you know, if anyone needs any support or assistance, I'm here for you. All right, let me take a look here. Yesterday, actually, before I get into this call session, I continued on the list. I had another 30-minute session I added to my day. I just decided to do it. Um, you know, I was getting oddly uh, discouraged in the moment. Uh, a lot of people, uh, at the time, I didn't know that I was actually calling a tax lien list, which made sense, um, considering their grumpiness and everything else. Um, but... You know, I'm calling this list and a lot of like a lot of people were being rude and it's not really like me to get discouraged because I know the game. Um, but, you know, I was really uh, it was really affecting me. And then all of a sudden, boom. Yes, we've considered selling. Um, it's a four unit multifamily property. It's got um, a 15 percent. Um, it's got a 15% cap rate on it, you know, for rents. So it's looking really good. Um, and I was like, bam, you know, there you go. It just happens like that, you know, so just to make sure you maintain and encourage. It was like my 125th phone call of the day and ended up just being an awesome lead. Um, so super exciting. Just a reminder for us to keep our heads in the game and not let ourselves pick up on little hints um, that give us a message. Truth is those messages aren't real. Uh, so when you pick up on those little hints, oh, you know, you're not doing it right, or these people are grumpy, or, you know, you start telling yourself things about your interactions, don't worry about it. Go back to dialing, make the calls, good things are going to happen. So I'm back for a 30-minute session, got a lot of no's, ended on a very high note, a uh, great lead, motivated seller, so it was super cool. Um, all right, so I'm going to get into today's session now. One sec, my mom's calling. You know, one thing my mom used to do um, on my birthday, which was just this last Saturday, but one thing my mom used to do um, is she would call my jobs before I would get to work and tell everybody that it was my birthday. So I got to walk in like 28 years old and uh, be like, hey, Nick, your mom called and <laughs> wished you a happy birthday. Ah, thanks, mom. Love you. Not to get her this replay. Yeah, dude. Epic, epic mothers. My mom would be at the top of the list. All right, let me text her back real quick. Hey, I'm going live right now on Facebook. Um, I'll text you in about 45 minutes. Thank God for the future. So 
up, Hung? How's your day going, man? Using your touchdown phone, please enter your PIN number. Oh, your PIN number. You are now logged into the Moto Dialer. Please press the start button on your screen to begin calling. I like the way the robot lady says Mojo Dollar. Really gets me in the right mindset. That Mojo Dollar, dude. I'm going to go crush it today. I am feeling so pumped. Yeah, yesterday I called a total of 135 people and landed that uh, lead. You know? And roughly just an hour and a half. Hello? Hello, hi. I'm so sorry to bother you. I may not have the right number. I'm looking for the owner of 990 Southwest 42nd Avenue. Um, she's not in right now. Oh, she's not? Okay. Um, is there a better time I can reach back? Um, probably a little later. Okay, you got it. Thank you so much. Yes, dude, two hours of sleep. Um, you know, it's funny you should mention that, actually. I, uh, let me pause this in case someone picks up. Nine, five, four, six, one. Let's see, make sure no one else picks up. Oh, we got a callback message being played. The Mojo Dollar, dude. Call has been forwarded All to right. an automatic so, voice message system. You know, it's Not funny you should mention two hours of sleep. Oh, hold on, we're calling her back. Thank God I paused it. We had three pickups in a row. Hello. Hello, hi. I'm so sorry to bother you. Um, I may not have the right number. I'm looking for the owner of 1200 Southwest 70th Terrace. No, you have the wrong number. Wrong number. I apologize. Thank you for your time. All right. So, Hung, you know, what I was saying was um, two hours of sleep. Can't wait to get started. You know, one thing I love doing is, you know, taking away my comfort zone. Um, I was really thinking about how excited I am to go home. And not because I'm excited to go home, but I'm excited for me not to try so hard to maintain my routine while I'm out here, right? Uh, there's a lot of things that we do and are in the comfort of our homes, whether it's eating healthy, um, exercising, just going to the gym multiple times, you know, working in my business, um, nine, eight, nine hours a day to, you know, coming out here, trying to maintain it. Now, it's great. And like you said, two hours of sleep, ready to crush it. It's 100% true. Uh, but you know, it's, it's interesting. What we do is I push harder in these times that I'm away and not go, let me take the day off. Uh, one thing I wanted to share with everyone that I figured out today, I push harder in these times to make sure I'm in my business and maintaining my business. And, and it just, because it really multiplies your efforts. You know, if I were to do nothing for the last couple of days, that would be okay too. But how much momentum would I lose? How would I begin to feel about that? And, you know, I've really realized that you know, maintaining while away kind of gives yourself bragging rights for yourself. You know, uh, look, look what you're accomplishing. Look what you're doing. Uh, getting two hours of sleep and can't wait to get started. And dude, you're going to have a killer day. Some of my best days, as you know, like yours have come from very little sleep. Uh, you know, and so it, it's so exciting. And then you at, you're at the end of the day, you're going, I crushed this two hours of sleep. Um, and, and I still made it happen. So, uh, you know, super cool, um, you know, that you brought that up. And I was just thinking about that today. And it's exciting to maintain your routines. And you don't have all your disciplines. You know, some of the things are going to sacrifice. You know, I haven't been eating very healthy. My mom will not stop shoving delicious, fatty Greek food and Moose Tracks ice cream down my throat. She just won't. So, uh, you know, a lot of things have wavered while I'm on vacation. But, you know, there's a lot of things that also stayed the same. And those are things that we look back on at the end of our time here and we go, we got this done. I made this happen. And we use that confidence and motivation 
to move into our next activity. Um, all right, so thank you for that side tangent, uh, Hung, that you uh, reminded me of. Really appreciate it, dude. I hope you kick ass today. Hello? Hello, hi. I'm sorry, I was taking a sip of water. Um, I may not have the right number. I'm looking for the owner of uh, 920 <laughs> Southwest 52nd Avenue. You got the wrong number. Wrong number? All right, thank you so much. Bro, get down here. She made two full pans of what's called pastizio. Pastizio is the most incredible Greek dish ever. It's basically like a... Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm so sorry. I'm, I may not have the right number. I'm looking for the owner of uh, 7521 Southwest 15th Street. Yeah. Hi. My name is Nicholas, and my partner and I, we invest in real estate in the neighborhood. And I was just following up on a postcard we sent you a couple weeks back, wondering if you'd ever considered selling. No, not at all. Not at all? All right. Well, if that ever changes, are you know right. anyone who does? All right. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye. I know. The person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Please try your call again later. Don't worry, bro. Uh, when my lease is up, don't be surprised when I move to Colorado. I have been dreaming of it. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Please move on after the phone. Hey there. Um, I'm sorry. Is this a business? I'm sorry, is this a business? I think I have the wrong number. This is Jimmy. Can I help you? Hey, Jimmy. I'm sorry to bother you. I I'm looking for the owner of uh, 741 Northwest 75th Terrace. Yeah, hang on a second. Sorry, go ahead now. Hey there, I'm sorry. I, I may not have the right number. I'm looking for the owner of uh, 741 Northwest 75th Terrace on Plantation. Yes, sir. Hey there. Yes, sir. My name's, Nic hey. My name's Nicholas, and I invest in real estate in the area. I was just following up on a postcard we'd sent to the property, wondering if you'd ever considered selling before? No, I'm not interested. Not interested? All, All right. right. Thank you for your time. Thank you, sir. You know, one thing that's important to note is that a lot of these are, uh, these are, this is a tax lien list. Um, so a lot of these people aren't really the warm and fuzzies. They're not like the landlord I'm happen to catch on the couch one random afternoon who's having a chill day. Um, so if you notice, whenever they're not interested, they kind of jump right out of the conversation. There's not always a lot of room to get in the jab of anyone you know. Um, I still try to go for it, but, um, Generally not as happier as a demographic, which is also okay. You gotta wade through them to get to the good ones. All right, we are 18 dials in. Yeah. 
You have reached the voicemail box of. That was scary. <laughs> been forwarded to an automated voice messaging. 22 dials in. Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm sorry to bother you. I may not have the right phone number. I'm looking for the owner of a 4910 Southwest 61st Avenue. Yes. Hey there. My name's Nicholas, and uh, I invest in real estate in the area. I was just following up with a postcard I sent to the property a couple weeks back, wondering if you'd ever considered selling before. Yeah. No, I have not. You have not. I do not want to sell. All right. All right. Thank you nope. so much. All right. Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm sorry. I was taking a sip of water. Um. Yeah. I'm sorry. I may not have the right number. I'm looking for the owner of uh, 6101 Southwest 56 Court. Uh huh. Hi, my name's Nicholas. He's and, not in right now, but uh, uh, yeah. Not in right now. Yeah, my name's Nicholas, and I invest in real estate in the area. And I was just following up, wondering if you guys or anyone you know may be considering selling in the neighborhood. No, not that I know of. Not that you know of. All right. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. Yep, hon. Um, my husband had mentioned something about somehow or another they thought with the uh, property taxes or whatever, but everything's paid. Everything's paid? All right, gotcha. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. You're very welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. So they actually knew what we were calling. Please leave your message for 954-829. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. 954294191 is not available. All right, 32 dials in, five pickups. Even one do not contact, and there's a six pickups altogether. Big ratios. This is also our first time running through this list. Hello. Hello. Hi there. I'm sorry to bother. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? There it is. Hello. Hey, my name's Nicholas, and uh, I'm actually calling. I may not have the right number. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Hi. Can you hear me? Hello. 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 Hello there. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello, hi. My name is Nicholas. What's yours?
Interesting. I'll call him back. We are 42 dials in. Hello. Hello. Hi there. I'm sorry to bother you. I may not have the right number. I'm looking for the owner of uh, 2450 Northwest 63rd Avenue. Who's that? Is that, a, is that an Arabic? Yeah. Yeah. It's quite a weird one. I'm sorry. Am I not even in the right neighborhood? It's in Sunrise, Florida. Yeah. yeah, but you don't try to find the address by phone. You gotta be driving on the street and looking for somebody. Who are you looking for? Yeah, the name is uh, Doreen. Who? Doreen is the name. Oh no, you got the wrong number. I remember. Hello there. Hi. I'm sorry to bother you. I may not have the right number. I'm looking for the owner of uh, 3640 Southwest 23rd Court. Oh, uh, no, no, Espanol. I'll get someone to call you back. All right. Thank you. Forty-seven dials in. I do have someone who's bilingual willing to reach out, so I just save them in a Spanish file. Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm sorry to bother you. I may not have the right number. I'm looking for the owner of uh, 4981 Southwest 27th Avenue. Um, no, I have a wrong um, number. Wrong number? All right. Thank you so much. Okay. 
Got a call back here, so they might answer. Please leave your message for nine five four two six one four. Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm sorry to bother you. I may not have the right number. Yeah. I'm looking for the owner of 1615 Northeast 20th Avenue in Fort Lauderdale. Error number. Wrong number. Thank you. Lots of wrong numbers out there. Not that many dials in for the day, though. Let's take a look. 64, about to start a new list. 65 is all we had to dial on this one. Your calling session is now complete. All records have been called. I'll be right back. On your call settings and advanced filters. To log out of the dialer, Simply hang up your phone now. To start a new session, please press the OK button on your screen and follow the prompts to the call wizard. No one's here. Captain Jack wants to know. Oh. Okay. Oh, no, I'm just doing something. Okay. Yeah, just one. 
<laughs> oh my god. All right. Getting back in the game. Okay, so let's take a look here. Not to die back in guys, I gotta share with you, you know, I, I was born and raised in Florida. Um, moved to Phoenix last February. And Phoenix is awesome. It's definitely one of my favorite places to be. It's really hot there right now, probably getting hotter. Probably going to start seeing me go live from different cities that aren't Phoenix <laughs> over the summer. Um, but man, one thing I really missed is the humidity. You know, a lot of people, I've never heard anyone say that before, but I love it out here. You get out your skin, it's, it's like you got moisturizer on your skin. It's just, it's just so nice. It's been raining almost every day. I haven't seen rain in like months in Phoenix. If it does, it's like for 10 minutes at a time. Um, and I'm sleeping or not paying attention during it. The clouds evaporate just as quickly as the rain does. All right, starting up this next list. Here we go. Hello. Hello. Sounded like someone's kids. My dad just sent me a string full of emojis. I don't even, I still don't use emojis correctly. And I just got a string of emojis, including things such as a heart, a bunch of clapping hands, even the smooches is quite, quite inventive, Pops. Quite inventive. Hello. Hi there. I'm sorry to bother you. I may not have the right number. I'm looking for the owner of a 1441 Northwest 33rd Way. Thank you so much. All right. We've got 11 contacts on 74 dials. Let me get another callback message going right now. Hello there. Hi. I'm sorry to bother. 
I may not even have the right number. I'm looking for the owner of uh, 1772 Southwest 28th Way. Uh, well, how can I help you? Hi, yeah, my name's Nicholas, and I invest in real estate in the area. I was just following up with the... I'm not, not interested in selling? All right. has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system nine five four three eight three six one seven six is not available Let's see how many dials we're in for the day. We got 81 total, 12 contacts. A lot of wrong numbers on this list, more so than I'm usually used to seeing, probably because it's also a tax lien list is what I'm devising. Um, you don't want to talk yourself out of things, but you do want to identify patterns. And I'm sure people that are having tax issues are probably having issues with their phones, too. If you're not paying your mortgage or your taxes, I doubt you're paying everything else properly and up on the up and up. So it's probably the reason for a lot of wrong numbers and the phone number gets changed a lot. And there's a lot of change of hands. But as soon as we begin to expect it, we now know to anticipate it. And it's just on the road to closing deals. Hello. Hello there. Hi. I'm so sorry to bother you. I may not have the right number. I'm looking for the owner of uh, 2161 Northwest 29th Avenue. Oh, I think you sure have the wrong number. Oh, no problem. At all. Am I even in the right city? It's supposed to be in Fort Lauderdale. Am I like in the right neighborhood? Uh, no, you're calling out into it. Oh my! Oh, uh, well, right. All right. Thank you so much. Hope you have a great day. Okay, you too. Bye. Bye. Love it when they're sweet. All right. 40 minutes in, rocking and rolling. 91 dials so far, 13 pickups. Hello there. Hi, I'm sorry to bother you. You know, I may not have the right number. I'm looking for the owner of uh, 2221 Northwest 27th what about Street. It? Hi, uh, my name is Nicholas, and me, what about it? me and my partner, we invest in the area. And I was just wondering if you'd ever considered well, selling. I'm not interested. I'm interested in selling. All right. Well, if that ever changes or you know what anyone that does, we'd love to be at the top of your list. Would you maybe mind taking down my information? Oh. Or you can just end the conversation abruptly. <laughs> we'll get him. We'll get him. That one yes. That one yes.
The person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Please try your call again later. You know, I'll be honest with you, ever since I started doing this, I've never wanted to hear the word. I never enjoyed the word yes more before because it, it's never met, put me closer to a dollar bill before. Does that make sense? Hello? Hello? Hey there, I'm sorry. Hello. Hey there, I'm sorry to bother you, sir. I, I may not have the right number. I'm looking for the owner of 3220 Northwest 18th Court. It's not me. Not you? All right, I apologize. Yeah, it, it's in Lauder Hill. Am I even in the right block? Um, no, I'm on. I'm in Coral Springs. Oh, you're in Coral. You know, oh, that's great. You know, I actually I grew up on Coral Springs. That's uh, that's wild. All right, well, hey, thank you so much, sir. Sorry to bother you. Oh, he was not happy with me being born in Coral Springs. <laughs> that's one thing I picked up on. I am pretty perceptive at times. Hmm. Hundred and two dials in for the day. This looks good. Sun basket meal delivery service. It's all organic. It's all paleo. Thanks so much. Yeah. Mm. Take a look at that. They're gonna like, check that out. Oh. What's up, Chris? What's up, dude? Hi, you've reached Christy. I'm not available right now. So please leave me a message or give me a call. Congratulations on the baby brother. Not the baby brother. The baby comma brother. Paleo. Oh, dude, did you tune in? Did you tune in just in time to hear me say that wrong? Paleo? Paleo. One of them is actually a philosopher. <laughs> the other one. <laughs> uh, so as a running joke to everyone else who may catch this 30 second laugh fest um, I cannot say paleo properly I always call it paleo <laughs> uh, no one ever knows what I'm talking about I wonder why I say it completely wrong and no one ever gets it oh my god Dude, that's awesome. Okay, man, I'm just about to go out to dinner with Pops. Last day here in Florida. Hello? Hello? Hello. Hey there. Yeah, hey, I'm sorry to bother Hello. you. Yeah, I'm sorry to bother you. I may not have the right number. I'm looking for the owner of 3650 Lloyd Drive. No, not me. Are you? All right, sir. All right, well, hey, have a great day. No problem. That guy had no problem having a great day. I just want to know if, you can, if you're allowed to step away from that and move the car forward. And then I'll get back on the road. Do I? I appreciate it. Something I miss about making calls with someone. Sometimes we say nice things to each other and you forget how good that feels. And then when you're like, when you're doing it by yourself, no one's saying anything nice about you. <laughs> Thanks, man. You know, it's really been, um, it's really been a crazy journey. You know, I was talking to Mario Fernandez yesterday and he says, Nick, that phone weighs a thousand pounds to me. 
He's like, you know, I've been dying for it to go away, wanting it to go away, waiting for the Mario's made hundreds of calls, maybe even thousands, really. And oh, this is Brad. Sorry, I can't get to the phone now. I'll leave us. And you know, it was just uh, it's just a big eye opener to see um, how he he still has you know an issue with it. You know, one thing I would recommend for everybody is when you go out there just make make three dials who cares even if you're calling Macy's or whatever just get used to talking to somebody again and then uh, make the calls I mean just break your own ice you know we all wake up with rope look at that hair twirl um, yeah exactly yeah call Chris um, you know and it's it's really a thousand pound phone thing and you know it's real but it's also it's just a, it's just an icebreaker as soon as we break through that barrier as soon as you make two calls three calls um, you're really gonna just get comfortable again and you're gonna break you're gonna shake it right off and get right into your groove um, but guys that's all I got for you today thank you so much for tuning in um, I will give a shout out I'm listening to Gary V's new book I'm gonna talk about it more in depth probably tomorrow um, it's called crushing it surprise I say crush it all the time uh, this book will change your life. This book is actually almost like um, a navigation to this new world that we live in about using the internet and marketing and self-promoting and how to insert yourselves online in conversations. You know, I would really just recommend it to any entrepreneur out there who wants to do more in their business and doesn't really know how. Um, and doesn't know where to start just listen to it it may not give you the idea but it will give you the energy to pursue the idea uh, this book's been a huge game changer for me I'm working on getting my closest friends all listening to it um, I need to listen to it at least one or two more times um, so super cool stuff all right I'm out of here have a great day last day in Florida I'm flying home I'll be landing in Phoenix around 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time uh, so excited to uh, to head back and I'm glad I got to see a little glimpse of this life that I left so long ago. All right, guys, have a great day. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, Jared, dude. Glad to hear that, bro.